So here when we're looking at uh, creating the Virginia license plate, we have to think about first, how many total options are there? Well, first thing I know is that I have 26 letters and I have 10 digits. And often people will say 9, but there's really 10. 0 is also a digit, so 0 and then 1 through 9. So there's actually 10, which means I have 36 total options. So the first thing here, it says all numbers and letters can be repeated. So that could mean that I could have a license plate of A, 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 or B, 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 or I could have A, A, B, 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 B. So anything can be repeated any number of times. So what I know is if I think about the license plate setup, I've got three digits and often the dash and then four more digits. So I think about, well, how many total outcomes can go in my first place? Well, there's 36 that are in are my total number of options. Well, when I go to my second digit, well, I, my number hasn't changed any because just because it's the second digit, I still had 36 total letters I could use there. And then I've got 36 total letters I could use here, or I should say alphanumeric letters. I'm going to take that out so we don't get confused. And then for my fourth one, I've got, again, 36 different alphanumeric letters I could use. Same thing for my last three places. All of them have 36 options. What this means then is I'm going to define my number of outcomes. I multiply them all together, which gets me to 36 to the seventh number of outcomes. And that, just so you have an idea of what number that is, that's 78 billion. 364,164,096 different outcomes. That's a lot of outcomes. Now, how does this change when nothing can be repeated? So what that means is that when I think about each of my, my license plates values, I know I have 36 options for my very first one. Now say that I used the letter A for my first one. If I used A here, can I use A here? No, it wouldn't be possible. So what that means is I've lost an option. I no longer have 36. I'm now down to 35 options. Now say that I used A here and B here. I can't use them when I go to my third digit. So now I only have 34 options. And say I went A, B, and then C, now I'm down to only 33 options for that next one. And say this now became a D, now I'm down to only 32 options for the fifth place, only 31 options then for the sixth place, and only 30 options for the seventh. But again, I'm going to multiply these seven numbers together and even though I've limited what can potentially happen here what I'll see is that when I multiply that I still get a gigantic number it is 42 billion 72 million 307,200 huge huge numbers it does cut the number almost in half by not being able to repeat, but that's still a lot of options. So you can see how these outcomes grow so very quickly. All right, so now we get to the presidential problem. So here I have um, that they're going to elect a president and vice president. And the whole point of that sentence is the whole idea that anyone can serve. So when I think about my president, how many people are available to be president? Well, there's 50 total people that could have been president. Then I have to think about, well, what about VP? Well, let's say that Sam got chosen as president. Sam can't be the VP as well, which means what's left in the group is 49 other options. And if I want to know my total, I'll just multiply those two numbers together, and that'll give me that there's 2,450 
different ways that I can pick my president and then my vice president because it could have went that my president is Sam and my VP is Bill. Now here's the unique thing about co-presidents. When I go president and VP, there are very distinct roles to being a president versus a VP. I wouldn't think like when I say that Sam is president and Bill's the VP, that would be very different than saying that Bill's the president and Sam is the VP because they'd have different roles at that point. When I go to co-presidents, that role shifts. It, it doesn't matter whether I'm co-president one or co-president two. I end up doing the exact same thing. So Sam and Bill is the same as Bill and Sam in this case. So if I think about that, Sam, Bill... Bill Sam that's the same thing so I don't need it in essence what that does is it takes the total that I have here when order matters and cuts it in half because half of those are just going to be repeated combinations so I'm going to divide this by 2 and say that there's only 1225 combinations then so there is a difference between uh, when you have unique roles or when everyone is serving in the same uh, position.